Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the writing and executing the C program. So on the right hand side, we are having the structure of the C program, where we know that the main and the driving function is the main. So here, whenever you start with the program, first of all, you should know that we will write void main. Now, main is a function. That's why after the main, we will provide starting and the closing bracket. So whenever you find the starting and closing bracket, you understand that this is the function. So main is the function. Now, main function will contain some coding lines. So you will provide the curly bracket start and curly bracket end. So that means under that, we are going to provide some certain code. So these are the lines of code. Now here we can see that it is void main. Void main means this main is not returning anything. But in some books you will find that it is int main. So what is the purpose of that? You understand if you are applying int here, then afterward main. Now main is the driving function and int is the return type. So here this function is going to return the integer type. So here the bracket will start and bracket will end. Some coding lines will come. But whenever you are providing the int here, so it is compulsory that you should provide the return. Now, this return will be having some integer value, integer value which do not have the decimal points, just like 1, 2, 7. So let us suppose that I am writing here return 1 and afterward semicolon. Or maybe if you want to provide the floating point value, so you can replace this int with the float and in the return we will provide the floating point value. So here this is how in different different books you will find but for the simple programming we will follow the void main. So here this is the first part which is the function main. Now let us suppose that in my program which is very first program I want to display my name. So here I am going to provide the code for that. Let us suppose I am taking the void main as a standard. So now I am going to write the code. For printing something on the user screen, we are having the function which is called printf. So here we are going to provide that is printf. Now this printf function is the part of header file. Whenever you are going to include any of the function inside the main program, you should provide the proper header file because this printf function will get the powers to work from the header file. So this printf function, it is starting with the bracket and ending with the bracket. That's why it is a function. So it is the part of header file which is stdio.h. So on the top of the program, we are going to provide the header file which is stdio. So this is the standard input output header file. Then afterward we will provide .h which is the extension. .h stands for it is the header file. Now it is having the less than and greater than sign. Whenever you find less than greater than sign, that means it is the system header file which is the part of system and before that we will provide the preprocessive directive so hash is the preprocessive directive which says that work on this line first whenever the program will start so work on this line and it is saying that include include means include this file so here this file will be included so from this header file stdio.h, we will get the powers into the printf function. But let us suppose that in this printf function, I want to provide my name. So here, in between the bracket, we will provide the name. And the name, we will fit inside the printf brackets. So here I have removed the last bracket because I want to write something. I want to write that my name which is Ankit, so Ankit should be written here 
and afterward bracket should be closed and afterward semicolon now understand one thing ankit is a string so whenever you are dealing with the string means the set of characters then we are going to provide double quote start and double quote end so here this ankit is a name name is a string so string is provided into the double quotes if you are making the program with the int main then the programming will be totally same but only we are having the one line extra which is return so if you are providing the int then return will be extra otherwise whole code will be same so here i am removing this part because right now we have taken that void min as the default program so this is our first c program which is ready here we are having the void min as the driving function and inside that we are having the executable part which is printf ankit and on the top we are having the header file now we are going to execute that for the execution in turbo c there are different different steps now the first step is the compilation so the first step is the compilation so here in the compile whenever we are making this program on the turbo c then at that time we are going to provide which is alt plus f9 so whenever you press alt plus f9 then compilation start what is the meaning of compilation we know that compiler convert high level language which is hll into the low level language that means into the machine level language machine readable form and it just check the complete code at a time so here compiler comes and check is the first line proper second line proper this way all the lines will check then afterward it will convert to the machine readable form so this is the first step which is the compilation or if you are having some kind of problem let us suppose that you have not provided the semicolon after the end and it is a format of your program then compiler will show it is error so first of all you has to remove those errors then your compilation will be successful so this is the first step then second step is the execution execution in the turbo c the command for that is control so that is ctrl control plus f9 so here we has to provide control plus f9 then afterward code will be executed what is the meaning of execution once our code is converted from high level language to the low level language now what is high level language here we are writing this stdio or maybe void main printf this is the high level language and it is converted to low level language by the compilation now is the part to run that code so running means that low level language which is onto the system now system should run that machine language this is called running or the execution so here in the turbo c we are having this control plus f9 then afterward our program will be run successfully now afterward we has to see the output for seeing the output or the user screen this is the next step which is the user screen so user screen is the last step here we has to press alt plus f5 so with the alt plus f5 we will get the user screen and user screen means what it is the output of our program so here we can see that what will be the output now here we have made this program and what will be the output of this program on the user screen we will find that the name ankit will be displayed so this is how we can make the first c program now here we can see that there are three steps which we have followed the first step was the compile then afterward second step was the execution and the third step was the output or the user screen every step is having its own command just like for the compilation we are having alt f9 for the execution we are having control f9 and for the user screen we are having alt f5 
That means if I am changing anything every time I have to follow these three steps, which is very long. So there is a shortcut method also there by which we don't have to go for all these three steps. By single command, all the things will automatically apply it. Means all these three steps will be taken. So for that, we are going to append our program. If we are simply pressing Control plus F9. So whenever we make the program and we simply press this Control F9, then it go with two steps automatically because you understand when the program will run, program will run when it is already compiled. So if you are pressing directly Control F9, then program will first go to the compilation. Then afterward, it will execute if there is no error. So by simply writing this control plus F9, the two steps are made to one. That means our first step is over compilation. And if compilation is success, it will run. So control F9 is the shortcut. But what about the user screen? Because for the user screen, again, we have to press this Alt F5. So for that, we are having one function that should be added to the program. So that function is get ch. Now, by applying this get ch function, the full form of this function is get character. It will hold the screen. Means whenever you run this program, afterward it will go to the output. So here, this get ch function hold the screen. What is the meaning of hold? You understand that whenever we press control F9 at that time, the first compilation go on, then afterward execution, then user screen comes for milliseconds, then it go. Now, because after writing that Ankit onto the screen, that screen goes back, but we assume that output never come, but actually output was there, but for the milliseconds and we have not seen that. So for that, we have applied the function, which is get character, which holds the screen means that user screen will be hold. So our whole purpose is complete. That means by simply writing control plus F9, we have done compilation. If compilation is successfully done, then execution, then afterward user screen will be hold until you press enter. So this is the purpose of get ch function that holding the screen until user press enter. So your output screen will be on hold and you can see the output. But to use the get ch function, we need a header file. That header file is Conio. So Conio is the header file where this get ch function is available. Conio stands for console input output header file. Then afterward, we apply .h in the similar manner. .h stands for header file. Then less than and greater than sign. That means it is the system header file. And to include into the program, we will write simply hash include. So here, this hash include will include the conio.h. Now in the similar manner, after using that, we will simply press control F9 and our code will first compile then execute, then run. So our, on the output screen, we will be having the Ankit. If you are executing your program multiple times, then you will find that your previous output is also coming. Let us suppose that you are executing this program five times. So five times Ankit will be there. But you want that the previous output should not be available. So for that, we are having the function that is clear screen. So the clear screen function is the CLR SCR. So this is the clear screen function. You simply apply this function. Now, whenever our program will start, then first of all, it will clear the screen. Then afterward, it will perform. So whenever you are going to execute a program, every time you will find the fresh output. And this clear screen function is also the part of Conio.h. So here we are having two functions of Conio.h. So here the getch function and the clear screen function. These two functions are the part of Conio.h header file. 
and this printf function is the part of stdio.h header file. Here you can see that we have taken the example of Turbo C++. Turbo C++ is the compiler by which we can write the code and compile and run that. So you should understand that if you are using any of the compiler, it can be Turbo C++ or Dave C++ or any other compiler. The steps are common. The three steps are there. The first one is the compilation. Second one is the execution. And the third one is the output or the user screen. But here these commands which I have mentioned for the compilation it is Alt F9. For execution it is Control plus F9. And for output or the user screen it is Alt plus F5. This is for the Turbo C++. If you are using some other compiler, let's say Dave C, then these commands may be different, but steps are same. So here compilation, then execution, then user screen or the output. So in any compiler, the steps will be same. But yes, commands can be different. So as the Turbo C++ is the standard compiler, so here these commands I have mentioned and by using the single command which is control plus F9, we can have all the shortcut means you don't have to go with one, two and three steps. Simply all these steps will become by the single command which is control plus F9 and for holding the user screen, we have the get ch function included into the program. So this is how we can write and execute the C program.